take a look at this pizza cutter, how big this is. This is an oversized pizza cutter, and you can see exactly how deep this pizza is. Ba 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 ba. All right, guys, special collab. And it's customary when you do a collab like this that the larger, more popular channel gets chauffeured by the smaller channel. This is what stop signs. Yeah, this is what the yeah, actual stop. Or you could just do a rolling thing. So here we are, Josh the Goat, heading to a pizza challenge, which it's brand new, so I'm going to assume it's undefeated, but I don't even know if it's ever even been attempted. I don't think it's brand new. Oh, I've, really? I've researched it now, and I think it's been around for years, but I don't think anyone's beat it. There's actually a, a cash prize that we finish, which is really rare for ones that we haven't been to. So. Oh, it's New York pizza. Today we're at Rocky's New York Pizza in Cascade, Maryland for their 28-inch pizza challenge. It's two people, 45 minutes to do this. You can tell it's a family-run business as soon as you walk in. They have lots of great options. I'm going to run down the menu here. You can't go wrong. There's got to be something for everybody here. Here's a shot of our pizza cooking. You can see it just squeezes in the oven. It takes up the whole width of the oven. <laughs> Has anybody ever tried the challenge? Not this one. No, this, so this is a brand new challenge. This is a brand new challenge. We have <laughs> wow, this is, this is my day, man. This is, I watch all these. You're going to eat that whole thing. Wow. <laughs> so I told my friend that this was a nine pound pizza. It's not nine pounds, nine. is it? Yeah, it's nine kilograms. <laughs> of all the pizza challenges I've ever done, this is the most deceptive one size wise. It's 28 inches, which is not that big. It's typically a solo pizza, but this is a team challenge. And if you look at this pizza cutter one more time, you can see how deep this pizza is. Guys, welcome to another video. Today we are at the undefeated and actually never attempted, and for a good reason, pizza challenge here at Rocky's Pizza. And New York pizza. Rocky's New York pizza. Now, my understanding of New York pizza, it's a thin pizza. It's like it's real yeah. thin in the bottom. Um, but we found a new version, Rocky's version of uh, New York style pizza. This is a thick pizza. This pizza is insane. This is net weight of at minimum 18 and a half pounds. We had to figure out what this tray is to be exact. But it was over 20 pounds before cooking. And it's uh, 18 and a half pounds. We have 45 minutes to do this. If we do it, we obviously win the challenge, we get $100. If not, we probably owe a lot of money because there's a lot in here. There is a lot. Um, but anyway, check out Josh in the description below. Let's get started. Go. All right. All right. Wow. That is a thick pizza. We are off so far so good. I like to eat pizza in challenges as hot as possible, but this is still a little bit warm, so I'm gonna pull some slices on this side plate so they cool down just enough for me to eat them. I didn't really know much about this challenge, aside from Josh saying it was nine, maybe 10 pounds. All we were working off of was this one photo that they posted on their Facebook page, and it is a decent size looking pizza, but we were not expecting anything like this. So we really appreciated everyone cheering us on. Wow. <laughs> The challenge requires you to pick two toppings for the pizza. I let Josh pick what, what he preferred. He went with half peppers and onions, the other half ham and pineapple. I'm not a big fan of onions. I tend to never eat them in my personal life. So I'm going to avoid them and concentrate on the ham and pineapple side while Josh works on the peppers and onion side. There is a lot to this pizza and for the first time ever in an eating challenge, they provided a breakdown of what actually went into the pizzas. They, they know to the ounce what is in this pizza. Here is the chart. 800 grams of peppers, 290 grams of onions. That is 2.4 pounds of toppings just on half of the pizza. On the side I'm working on, there's 760 grams of ham, 870 grams of pineapple. That's 3.6 pounds of toppings on my half. There is a lot of toppings on this pizza. It has 2.3 kilograms of cheese. That's five pounds. 1.4 kilograms of sauce, which is three pounds. And then you have the dough, 2.8 kilogram, which is six and a quarter pounds. So the whole thing came to 9,255 grams, 20.4 pounds, 
pre-cooked. It came to the table over 22 pounds after subtracting out the tray. It's a 19 pound, two ounce pizza. This is all work out. Anything right now? No, good, thank you. The staff at Rockies really wanted to see us win. They were helping us out any way they could, always asking if we needed anything. And at that point, I realized that I didn't even have a drink. I had left it at the other table, so I had to get up and get my drink. Because at some point, I'm going to have to start drinking. At this point, we're 11 minutes in out of 45. We have a bunch of the pizza done. But from doing these in the past, I know that things are going to slow down. That crust is going to take a while to eat. So it's very deceptive. That's why I'm not doing any talking. That's a lot of pizza. Yeah. As people were watching us, some of them started to look us up and follow our channel. So thank you very much for that and for cheering us on. I think we're still doing okay. Slow and steady is going to win this race. At least that's how I feel right now. As you can see, the other patrons are all very supportive of what we're trying to do. Really appreciate that. It does make things a lot easier. And I had to interact with them a little bit. Uh, you sit there, you're allowed to be tagged into the challenge. <laughs> yeah. so I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> I still think we're doing okay at this point, but I feel like Josh is starting to feel the effects of this pizza. <sighs> Even though he's feeling it, he's putting up quite the fight. I feel like we have a lot of time left. We have most of the pizza done. We still have about 20 minutes. So I think we're gonna be able to do this. I'm not too concerned, but that will change shortly. I didn't realize it at the time, but that one slice took me two and a half minutes to eat. Precious time is going off the clock. This is not a good sign. <sighs> if you think that last slice was slow, it took me eight and a half minutes just to eat the crust off half of the pizza. This is not looking good now. We only have six and a half minutes left and we still have the entire other half the crust and a bunch of pizza to eat. I don't think mathematically this is possible. Come on, come on guys. It's getting real hard now. There was so much pineapple on this pizza that I had a whole plate full that had fallen off the other slices when I was eating it, so time to start that now. Looking back on this, it was probably a huge mistake for me to eat the pineapple right now. I probably should have gone on to the other pizza because it was so tough to eat the pizza after the sweet pineapple. As I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of onions and eating them after that sweet pineapple made them even less fun. But let's get a big push here, see if we can finish this pizza inside the 45 minutes. <sighs> that quote from Josh pretty much sums up our attempt here. I was obviously wrong. We are not able to finish this pizza, unfortunately. But it is good to test yourself. It was over twice as big as we thought going in. But if you don't test yourself in life sometimes, you don't know where you really stand. All right guys, that ended up being 19 pounds, like two and a half ounces. It was a decent sized pizza. We put a dent into it, but we did not get the win. So taking the loss today, but I appreciate you for coming to another video. Thanks Josh for uh, inviting me to this nine pound pizza. Yeah, right, if I would have <laughs> known. Uh, all good. Thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon.